Now next on News Source Today, some young actors from Florence will be putting on a big show next weekend. We'll talk with them about their production of Beauty and the Beast Jr. And here is today's... You're watching KMTR News Source 16 with Mark Mullins, Kelly Warner, and Jordan Steele with First Alert Weather. Welcome back. It is 643, and they say it is a tale as old as time. Do you know it? It's coming to life in Florence thanks to some young actors called Beauty and the Beast Jr., yes. right? Yes. And uh, if you're looking for a family fun time, this may be the ticket here. We're joined this morning by Melanie Hurd. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having us again. Now, you head up the Children's Repertory of Oregon Workshops, right? I do. We call ourselves Crow. Crow. For short, yep. Ex excellent. And you brought along some of the cast from Beauty and the Beast. I did. This is Lumiere, Belle, and Chip characters. Uh, also known as William... Uh, nice. Daniel and Natalie. Got it. Okay. Slip for, <laughs> for a second. So welcome. Thank you play you. Belle, the main yes. character in the show. Yes, that's me. Awesome. You're the lead. Yes. How was rehearsal? How do you like it so far? It's a lot of fun. It's um, tiring, obviously, because it's so much, but it's so much fun. Okay. So briefly, what's the story about? We know that overall it's about a girl who is going to find her dad because he gets mm. lost in a big castle, and then what happens? Well, she meets the Beast, and... He's this terrible guy, and he's really mean to her, but then she changes him, and he falls in love with her, and then she falls in love with him. So it's a good story there. Fabulous. Yeah. Little Chip here. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Amazing costume you got there. Thank you. Where's the Chip at? Right here. You're the Chip, <laughs> and here's the Chip as well yep. on top there. And tilt forward just a little bit, but don't spill. Show them the bubbles. Show the bubbles. Show the bubbles. Look at the bubbles there. <laughs> Some bubbles coming out of the top. So amazing costumes. Lumiere. Yes. You're originally, uh, well, in the show, you're a candelabra. See. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See or we. <laughs> so Spanish, French. What do these do? Uh, they light up. Sweet. And uh, right now we have a little technical difficulty, but. Uh, <laughs> Always. Welcome to live television. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. It's really fun. All right, so what are the age ranges of the, uh, of the uh, performers in this show? Uh, our youngest kid is about six years old, mm -hmm. and then our oldest is 19. And we also have one adult who plays Belle's father. And um, we have about 50 children in the show, and it's being done with professional caliber, Broadway caliber performance values. So we've got, you know, full sets, costumes, lighting, special effects like flash pots and all kinds of amazing stuff that happens on stage. What is it like to take a group of young actors and really shape them and, and bring together a Broadway-like show? Well, it's near and dear to my heart. Um, I have a strong background in theater myself, and when I was their age, I got to do this kind of thing. So it was really important to me to bring professional caliber theater to the children of Florence and surrounding areas. I just, I think it's one of the most important things that kids get in their early education. Belle, tell me about the Beast and his costume. It's... Uh, Beastly. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty scary. Is he pretty scary? Oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely. You have to kiss the beast at some point. On the cheek. On the cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. It's G-rated. You have a family theater. show, right? Exactly. That's a good thing. And the costumes. What is your favorite? So we talked about the beast being scary. What is your favorite one out of all of them? My golden dress. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, that's right, because you have a it's, dancing scene. Mm -hmm. It's definitely my favorite. Nice. Beautiful. And, uh... You have to check that out at the Florence Events Center to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please come. That's right. Bring oh. your family. All right, so I want to sing a little bit with you. Are you ready, guys? Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie a napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Tout du jour. Oh, very good. We only live to say. Maybe I uh, <laughs> a little job, bit guys. too much there, right? Yeah. I'm impressed. Uh, thank you. I can be a guest, guest of the show. We've got a costume. As a fork. Mark Mullins is a fork. That would work. Running across the dining room table. That would work. All right. <laughs> so, tickets are still available. They are. You want to call the Florence Event Center box office, and the number is 997-1994. Or go to our website, crowkids.com. Okay, so even if you don't live in Florence, does that mean you can't make the drive on over oh. to the Florence Event Center? It's a pretty big place. Trust me, it's worth it. You will not be sorry. This show is fabulous. All right. Good to see you. Thanks, guys, for coming in. <laughs> Good to you. see you. Great costumes Thank there, you. too. Thank you. Thank you. Again, I just want to reiterate that you can catch Beauty and the Beast at the Florence Event Center next week. There's a 7 p.m. showing on Friday, Friday April 20th and two 2 o'clock and a 7 o'clock showing on Saturday, April 21st, and a 2 o'clock matinee on Sunday the 22nd. Tickets are $14 for adults, 
$8 for students, $5 for kids. And for tickets, you can call that number there on your screen. It's 541-997-1994. Didn't that look fun? Absolutely. That is one of my all-time favorite Disney stories. I love it. And the costumes are amazing. Oh, yeah. They did a good job. Right. She's Broadway caliber. You can tell just by seeing the costumes of our guests this morning. Oh, so good. I can't wait to see them on stage. Yeah. That'll be awesome. Well, let's get back to...